Today we did an enucleation, which is just a technical term for taking out an eyeball, and a blood draw on a koi. They'd been lethargic and not quite acting right, so we want to make sure that there's no internal infection going on. Because we've treated them for parasites and it didn't seem to resolve the issue, and the water quality looks just fine. So the most important water quality parameters are your nitrogen cycle, your ammonia, your nitrite, your nitrate, and then your pH and your KH, which measures the alkalinity. And then ponds always have to have enough oxygen, which I mean, you can see behind me, they have plenty of oxygen, and be the right temperature for enough fish activity to be going on. This is the second time they've come out, and uh, first time they took out his eye about two years ago. This time his eye was quite inflamed, purging out, and. Um, they were scared that he was going to rupture. So he's been, he's been blind for almost three years and he's got a perfect life. I mean, no problems, nothing whatsoever. He does very well. Remember me doing this a couple oh, of years ago? I do remember. Ago? Believe me, I'm not going to look at you. Get that for you. <laughs> Can we get him a glass sign? Hey. <laughs> for a guy? Not really. There's not really much to like hold it in. They don't have eyelids like we do. I've never forgotten it. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can get a shot of the the old spot of where his other eyeball was, and it's perfectly fine now. Here, I want to show him the right eye. Yeah, it's got a nice growth on it. <laughs> how, how neat is it to have the surgery performed right at your pond? Oh, it's great. It's great. J Jessie's great. We couldn't beat this, I'll tell you what. Thank God we found her because these fish are my wife's life. So right now I just have to cut the conjunctiva that's around the eye. What I'm really trying to do is get access to the blood vessels and nerves that run behind the eye so I can clamp them off. Mm. Uh, and that way they won't bleed when I pull the eyeball out. Some of the really big tumors, it's very hard to get these out in one piece. Mm. Um, but there's a lot less chance of infection if I can get it out in one piece. It's doing fine. Pull back a little bit again. Try to keep his nose from being up against the bucket. Got that yellow tissue around the back. It's just fat. Oh, I guess I'll see my now. Getting there. That's a lot of fat. <laughs> Sorry, fish. Not not your fault. All right, so that severed that little piece of skin that runs around the eye. So it's mostly out now. I just gotta make sure I get all the muscle attachments under this little layer of fat. And so with the eyeball removal itself, what, why, why was that done today? Um, so today, We've been watching it for a couple years. Um, I took the other one out about three years ago. It had gotten starting to protrude from the side of his head and the excess, the uh, very outside tissue had started to slowly slough off. So we just worry that if that opens up, it can be a source of infection. Um, so this one, we've been watching it for a couple years and it's finally gotten to the point where it's just protruding outside of their head and especially with the parasite issue that they had, um, that flashing behavior, we didn't want them to accidentally bump it and basically tear a hole in the side of his head. All right, moment of truth. The eye side itself was left open. This is a good, clean pond. We know their water chemistry is perfect. So he's gonna go ahead and heal up in his pond over the summer. Um, as you can see with the other side that we did a couple years ago, skin will start to grow over and by this time next year, you're not even gonna know there was an eye That's ever there. Fine. Lovely point. So I have all those vessels and nerves clamped off. Just gonna clean up some of this tissue. A lot of this is just fat and connective tissue. We do a lot of these enucleations. Um, we get a lot of goldfish too that have tumors on their corneas. You really the only good wave that has a resolved treatment is to just take out the eye. The fish do just fine with one eye or no eyes. They can smell their food and get around their pond usually just fine. Some fish will actually adopt a friend that they follow around all the time. We call them their seeing eye fish. Interesting. And they'll follow them around, they can feel the vibrations and they just do everything together. 
Wow, that's really amazing. <laughs> yeah. And so the second part of, um, you drew blood from both fish. Mm -hmm. And what, what were you doing there? Why, why were you drawing the blood? What is that for? So basically, as with any animal you take to a typical vet clinic, you always want to do a basic blood panel to make sure all the values are in the right range, especially if we're looking at, say, a white blood cell count for that would indicate an infection in these guys. Um, just because they have been acting a little off, a little lethargic, we want to make sure that there's nothing going on internally that they're not showing signs of externally. And how, uh, what, what did you think of the fish overall as when they went back? They look like they're doing great. Oh yeah, they're, they're doing fine. They usually have a slow period for about 10 to 20 minutes where they're coming out of the anesthesia. Same with any animal that goes under either gas anesthesia, or in this case, it's a powdered anesthetic we mix in with the water. After a couple minutes, they usually come out of it and they're just fine within, say, half an hour. You could have never noticed that they were even sedated at all. Awesome. Yeah. And it's a beautiful day in a beautiful place. Yeah, it was nice. It's not too hot today, which is nice. Sometimes I'm really baking when I come out to this pond. And you, how often do you make trips to ponds? That's probably one of your regular things to go to go on location mm -hmm. like this. This is not uncommon. Yeah, so this I came out a couple weeks ago for their, their yearly checkup in the spring. A lot of issues lots with parasites and other things just coming out of kind of a summer hibernative state that we get in this area of California. So doing a spring pond checkup is a really good idea. Um, they had been noticing that these koi weren't quite coming out of their hibernation as well as they would have liked. So we did find a parasite infection, which they have treated for. Fish still aren't 100%, so we're gonna go ahead and kind of see if there's anything going on internal that we just can't see. And how easy is it to work with Jesse and Sarah? Oh, that's great. They're, they're just great. They're, they're the lifesavers. They really are. So we've been very lucky and uh, they keep taking care of all of them. They've been here for many years. I think that these guys are about 15 years old, is that right, Jesse? 15, 20? Yeah, they're old guys, so. They've been around a long time. It's probably longer, probably 20 years, actually. So, uh, and uh, we're just very lucky. And uh, everything's worked out well for them. Would you recommend to other people that have ponds or might not know about Jesse's anytime, service? Anytime, Jesse is the best. There's no doubt about it there. I would have recommended to anybody, anywhere. Anything to do with fish or my turtle.